Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And in this one, I want to give you a quick rundown on where to get Death's Poker, which is a fantastic, awesome, and unique greatsword that you can actually get pretty early in the game. You can get it as soon as you're able to get to Kaled, and it has a really awesome, unique skill, Ghost from Ignition, which has some rather interesting interactions. So in this video, I want to quickly go over what that is and how you get it. If you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below, let me know if you guys have got this already, or if you've had a chance to try it, or if you're gonna get it. And of course, don't forget to keep it locked for plenty more Elden Ring. So to begin with, as mentioned, this is the weapon, Death's Poker. It has a requirement of 15 strength, 17 dex, and 11 intellect. Of course, scales best with dex. And this weapon basically has the awesome, unique weapon skill, Ghost Flame Ignition, where when you draw the weapon, it creates a bubble of ghost flame after thrusting forward. Now, it does have quite a long wind-up time, so do, of course, keep that in mind. It's also a great sword, which is, you know, slightly slower. However, the bubble in and of itself does damage over time if the enemy stands in it, but that is not the only thing. What's actually really cool about this is the interaction that follows. After creating the bubble, you have a couple of different options. You can ignite this in two different ways. The bubble can either be spread along the ground or detonated for massive damage. And this, of course, all depends on how you follow up after casting the bubble. Also worth noting that the weapon and the bubble cause frostbite buildup, which, of course, is fantastic. Frostbite status gives you a one-time damage tick in a very sort of similar manner to bleed, which is pretty big. But there's also a follow-up 20% incoming damage debuff and a stamina recovery debuff as well. This weapon itself is actually very accessible as well, but there is a boss fight in order to get this. So if you guys do want to get this, then what you want to do is fast travel to the southern Aeonia Swamp Bank Site of Grace, and then you first need to make sure that the time of day is set to night. Then to the south of the Site of Grace, there'll be a boss enemy called the Death Right Bird. Upon defeating it, you'll drop the weapon. And it's as simple as that. That is quite literally how you go and get it. So set time of day tonight, go to that location, grab it and have some fun because honestly, this is super cool. It's one of the things that I enjoy the most about this game. Some of these like really unique weapons. And honestly, if you use this right and you scale it correctly, it is actually pretty potent. So hopefully you guys found that helpful. Hopefully that gives you something to go and grab if you haven't got it already. If you guys missed our recent uploads, be sure to check out this video. And again, keep it locked on the channel for plenty more Elden Ring.